Hello everyone, my name is Karen Yvorsik. I am the dedicated MBA librarian for Concordia University Libraries. And today I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, how you can find and use library resources. Specifically, first we're going to talk about how you search the library catalog. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about how you can find and use specific business databases and why you might want to do that instead of using the general library catalog. Finally, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can find answers to your APA citation questions. So the library catalog is also known as OneSearch and it's sort of our one-stop shop for library resources. Um, OneSearch indexes basically any electronic resource and physical resource that we have access to in the library. Um, from print books to ebooks to articles to journals to um, audio and visual materials um, it's all in here so it's a really good place um, if you're not quite sure where to start so let's go check it out so the way that you access OneSearch is from the library homepage which is www.cu-portland.edu backslash academics backslash libraries and you can type your keywords into the main search box or you can also access from the catalog link over here on the left hand side. So that's what I'm going to do. Wait for it to load. And then what you'll see first here is a big search box. And what you would want to do is to think about your research question and brainstorm some keywords that get at the main concepts of your research question. And then you'd put those in the search box. So. Um, for example, if you're writing a paper about um, how getting an MBA education can help develop leadership skills, um, the two sort of key concepts that jump out to me from a question like that would be MBA education and leadership. So I'm going to put that in. You don't strictly have to put them in parentheses, but um, I find that it's very helpful to do so um, to kind of separate the concepts in your head. Um, so those are the two keywords that I'm going to use to start out with. And if I, we don't find what we want um, searching for those things, we can revise our search using different terms that you know we might think about um, based on the results that we got. So to do your search, you'll hit the little magnifying glass. And um, you can see here we have all different sorts of resources. Um, the first thing it'll do is it'll prompt you to sign in, which is always a really good idea. Um, to make sure that you're seeing um, all the different ways to access the resources um, because um, there are certain resources that that might not show up if you're not signed in so it's always a good idea to do that now one of the main things that I know is a requirement for your annotated bibliography is to find peer-reviewed articles and so everything that we see here may or may not be peer-reviewed um, we can't tell but if we click this little filter over here that says show only peer-reviewed articles, um, it'll filter out anything that's not a peer-reviewed article. So now you can see all of my results have this nifty little peer-reviewed symbol next to them. Um, there are also other filters that you might find useful. You can filter to different dates. Um, you can filter to whether or not the article is currently available online. Um, our our OneSearch catalog includes both things that we have immediate access to and things that we don't have immediate access to but that you could request via our interlibrary loan service and I'll go over how to do that in just a minute. So those are the ones that you might find most useful. Um, you can also do subject and author and things like that but, but those are the ones that, that I find students most frequently need to use. Now um, say that you um, wanted to check out this article. How would you go about doing that? Well, you would click in to the article and um, you would see a little bit more information about the article. You could read the abstract, read the subjects, see if um, that sort of fits what you're trying to research. Um, and if you decided that it did, you could click um, the full text available at link. Now, um, for this particular article, there's only one link here. Some articles you may see more than one link and it doesn't matter which link you click on, you'll get to the same text. It's just sometimes we have access to a particular article in more than one database. And so um, you wait for it to load 
and then you can see the full text here um, d directly below the abstract or you can download the PDF and read it there um, which I'm not going to bother with right now um, but that's how you would do it so um, this is how you would access a particular article that you were interested in. Oops. Um, now say there was an article that you wanted that we didn't have full text online. It looks like all of our top articles do. I'm looking for one that might just say citation online. Here it is. So say you really wanted to read this article, but we don't have full text online. Um, the way that you would request it is by clicking into it and then you click this no full text request from Tapasa interlibrary loan and if you never made a request before it will ask it'll prompt you to create an account um, I've made a request before so um, so it's not prompting me to do that but um, once you have an account it'll automatically populate with all the information about the article and then um, all you have to do is just double, double check that your information is correct and then hit submit request. Once you do that, um, it'll be processed by our interlibrary loan team and um, they will uh, have it delivered to, to your email usually within a few days. So um, you should never ever pay for an article if you, if you don't see it in the catalog or if you don't see it on Google Scholar. Um, if you happen to check Google Scholar, that's another resource. Um, but um, interlibrary loan is always a great option um, if you find the perfect article but we don't have access to it in the library. So going back to our presentation, say that when you are searching for your articles in OneSearch, you found a lot of things that were not really related to your search like say you found a lot of articles on how MBA education um, can help with leadership in um, in the healthcare administration and you weren't really interested in the healthcare administration uh, aspect of it so um, you or you how it relates to nursing or something like that because we do have a lot of nursing articles um, so one way that you might kind of cut out that um, uh, the different articles that are not related to your subject is by going to a business specific database and so the way to do that is to go to our A to Z databases page so the way that you would access this is um, it, this is the same page um, if you access from databases here and filter to business as a subject so the um, there are a lot of different business databases here. Not all of them uh, only show business databases, but <coughs> excuse me. But a lot they all have good business articles in them. But the the top ones to search are the ones that I've highlighted here. So um, the one that I'm going to spotlight today is how to search for AB through ABI Inform, which is a ProQuest collection. Now the difference between searching this and OneSearch, as I mentioned, is that this is only going to search the publications that are within the specific database, which is um, oriented toward business. Um, so there'll be business articles, uh, business uh, academic articles, there's some trade journals and things like that. We're, we're still going to focus on peer-reviewed articles, but they're mostly going to be in business and economics and, and those type of journals. So let's do the same thing that um, we searched for before which is MBA education and leadership. Now you can click your peer-reviewed checkbox here to show to make sure we only get peer-reviewed articles um, and I just want to call your attention to there's a couple of extra um, filters that you could use for your search. Um, if you were looking for like a specific company or organization or a specific industry, you could use the Naki's code um, or things like that to refine your search. I'm just going to do a general search for MBA education, but those are good to know about if you're doing research on a particular company or industry. And so here, um, you know, we see some of the same articles that we we talked about before because uh, it's the same database but um, 
it, well, it's it's this database is included in the OneSearch, but we see some other ones as well. So, um, and with these, we're already in the database that has the um, that has that houses the full text of the articles. So all you'd have to do is, you know, click into your um, click into your PDF here to read the article. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention about this database is that it also includes some um, some articles that are not contained in the database. So you see the difference between these two articles. One says full text PDF and one just says get article. Um, that just means that we don't have access in this database and if you click this it's just going to search the catalog for that particular article to let you know if we have it. And so that's going to search. And it looks like we do have this one. It's just in a different database. So instead of this ProQuest database, that one happens to be located in our JSTOR database. And so here you can see we do have access to the article. So it's just one extra step if you're searching in this database. All right, so finally, I want to talk a little bit about where you might go for APA help. So um, I know that the paper that you have to write for this class is um, is supposed to be an APA style and if you haven't used APA style it can be very confusing but um, the library has lots of resources to help you with it. So one of those is our APA style guide. Um, so this sort of uh, collates a lot of the most common things that people ask about for APA style. Um, and particularly, I want to show you where you can find information about how to format in-text citations. So this is um, when you reference something in the text of your document, how you do that. And there's lots of different examples here. And then again, um, with your references page, um, ways to format different types of references. Now most of your references are going to be articles and so it gives you the sort of basic format of how you reference an article. Um, and it also gives you some information on here about what to do if your article doesn't have a DOI. So a DOI is a, um, a particular um, way to reference an online article but not every article has one. So, um, so that's something to be aware of when you're looking at articles. Um, so these are sort of the basics of APA, but what if you have a question and it's it's not in this guide? Well, if it's a if it's a pretty common question, the library has this set of FAQs and a lot of them are about APA style. So if you are looking for a particular type of resource, it might very well be in here. So you can see a lot of our, these are our most popular FAQ questions and a lot of them are about APA. But if you don't see it here, you can always type your question in into the search box and see if it comes up. Now, if you still don't find it there, um, a really great place to go is the APA style blog. This is where I go when someone asks me a question about APA style that I don't know the answer to. Um, so in this, in this blog, um, people who work for APA answer questions about um, uh, questions that are submitted about APA style. So um, you can use the custom search box to search for different things about APA style here. So these are great places to go, um, as well as contacting your friendly reference librarian. Um, I can also help you with APA style questions. So a few important things to remember, um, there's lots of resources available at the NBA resource guide. Um, and so that's just libguides.cu-portland.edu backslash MBA. Um, and here's the link. Here's the link to it. Um, you know, you can get more information about search strategies. Um, if you want information on company info and financials, or statistics, or um, or any different resources related to business, um, as well as there's links to um, specific business course guides, um, such as MBA 101. You can sort of see different things there. Um, so that's a really great. Uh, tool to be aware of. I also want to emphasize that 
that you should never ever pay for an article. Um, if you happen to be searching on Google or Google Scholar and you can't access it or you hit a paywall, the library can almost always get it for you for free um, through that ILL service that I demonstrated. So usually what I recommend people do is to just put the title of the article that they want into OneSearch and um, it will be able to come up uh, through um, to see if we have it or not and if we don't you can use the request item uh, through our interlibrary loan link. And the last of all, I wanted to mention that the librarians are here to help. Um, it's literally our job to answer your questions, and it's it's my favorite part of my job, so I always welcome when students um, contact me for help with their research. Um, so uh, this is my personal contact information. Um, you can email me specifically, um, or you can use um, the Ask a Librarian link, which is also on the library homepage, um, to get in touch with um, any of our other librarians, which is a, a good way to get in touch if you need an answer ASAP. Like if you're working at 3 in the morning and you need help, we have 24-7 chat available. Um, I'm not going to answer your email at 3 in the morning. I'll answer it when I get into the office at 8. But, <laughs> um, but I'm happy to help you as soon as uh, as soon as we're available um, so um, I do have some specialized knowledge of the business databases so if you've got a really specific question but all of our librarians um, are really great at helping people um, do research so um, if you've got questions please feel free to contact me or get in touch with any of our librarians thanks so much and happy researching <laughs>